The point is, this is going to be a big deal. Yeah, this is going to be a really big deal. And this is only half the story. We both woke up this morning. I immediately texted you as soon as I saw the news. Yeah. Uh, Press conference and everything. Everything. Every <laughs> NASA X Twitter account posted about this. Yeah. Obviously, it broke on every science blog and everything. Yeah. Because we've sort of had some evidence, but we wanted to make sure, and NASA felt it was good enough yeah. to now have the acting administrator of NASA, Sean Duffy, uh, come out and do a victory lap mm -hmm. that we, we, we might have got him. Yeah. Um, it is what they're characterizing as a potential biosignature. Ah, potential. Okay? And um, not a full biosignature. In order to actually really nail it down, what we're going to need is the sample to come back to Earth. Fair. Um, so this is the Jezero crater. Yes. Um, Perseverance was parked right on the outskirts, mm -hmm. did a little bit of traversing around there, and then it went down this valley, mm -hmm. down this river valley towards the crater. And right over there is something that's really nice because you've got this sedimentary rock on the western edge of this crater, okay? And because it's a dry river valley, you're going to have potentially signs of stuff that lived in that water, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to leave its markings in the rock. What you want to do is you want to look for inorganic compounds that have signatures of being made by organic chemistry, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And so that's what this story is, okay? okay? This story is focusing on two, um, two classes of compounds, iron phosphates and iron sulfides. And phosphorus and sulfur, phosphorus specifically, um, very much something that is associated with life on Earth. Okay. Okay. So finding these things is very, very nice. What, what, they, what they found was, so that you've got this like substrate of rock, which is this mud clay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's got a lot of iron. And then you have these like little, they, they call them poppy seeds and leopard spots. Okay. okay? They're like little tiny like beads yeah. of stuff. Um, I get it. And the gradient of carbon yeah, yeah. was coinciding yeah, yeah, with, with how much of this stuff you were seeing. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you yeah, see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah. now it's getting exciting. Yes. It's like it's like th there's a gradient of carbon, which means maybe yes. there was more life on this side than on this side. Yep. And so and the density of this stuff of the, this of this iron phosphate, phosphate. iron phosphate, which is very or like, you know, mm -hmm. on Earth associated yeah. with life is tracking it's correlated to the gradient yeah you know of the underlying percent, carbon of the under, yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. so now it's like okay this is pretty nice yeah, yeah. there's like, right? sort of like two mm -hmm. uh data points yeah that yeah. are correlating very strongly that we associate with like or with with organic, with organic, organic chemistry right, right.